we're going to go through the process of adding a new value to a drop-down list. First, let's take a look at this pedestal. And I didn't get a chance to completely put in all the values here. So if you notice, as I go down the list, that the material is set to null, so it's a blank value. If I look at the drop-down values that are here, uh, it doesn't have the one that I'm looking at. I really want to say that this is made of plastic. So I, I can only select a value that's in the list currently. So what I need to do is actually add a new value to this drop-down. So to do that, uh, go to your content screen and then uh, right click on one of the layers, click on design, and then go to domains. So a domain is just a list. It'll have a name. So in this domain name column here, those are the names of all the various lists. There'll be a description, a type of field, and other information about that. When you click on one of these in the list here, and let's go and find the uh, station enclosure material, so that's our list that's tied to uh, the pedestal that we were looking at, it'll then show you the uh, drop-down values that you see. There's also this code value. So the code is basically what gets stored behind the scenes in the database, and the description is what you typically see and what you typically work with. So what I want to do here is to add a new value. To do that, I'm going to click inside this blank area down here at the bottom. And I'm just going to put in a, a unique value. So as long as it doesn't match something else that's in the list, we should be OK. And I'm going to type in classic. So I'm going to click into another row here and see how the row has turned to green. That means that uh, the row has changed and it hasn't been saved yet. So to save that, we're just going to go over to the Save button at the top here. And we'll click on that. And so that will take a second to save the changes. And then once that's done, then we'll go right back to the map. And then we should be able to uh, see the new value appear. So I'll close that window. And I'm going to go back and select that same pedestal. And let's take a look at the material value here. And there it is, plastic.